This is the first year that we're having an in-store Santa, so I am taking the selection process very seriously. Well, I've had a lot of experience. Good. I've closed a number of department stores. Okay. And I, I was trained by Wayne Gunderson. Wait. Uh, he's a uh, Santa Claus at the Chicago Macy's. Oh, wow. He's a legend. You sound <laughs> really <laughs> qualified. Well. <laughs> is that it? Is that the one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Well, so I have the job? <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet, my fat red friend. <laughs> Congratulations. Out of over a dozen applicants, you're the super six who made it past the grueling yet simple Megan's Law search. So let's get. Oops. Sorry. Excuse me. One sec. Richard, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You have to be ready for anything because the questions are going to be coming fast and furious. Like, how can you deliver presents to billions of children in one night? Santa one. Elves. Elves. No, elves make the presents. By Christmas, their job's done. Hi, Glenn. He's a horse. I'm a horse. Go, go. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about dealing with the Jewish kids. After careful consideration, I've decided to go with the applicant I pretty much knew I was going to go with from the beginning. Uh, Santa number one. Congratulations. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, oh, uh, what did you say this pays? Pays? Yeah, how much does it pay? <laughs> no, no you, you get to be Santa. I get it, to be. Yeah, it, it pays in a thousand smiles. Oh. It pays in the wonder on a... Little kid's face. What? Well, I guess it's you. Congratulations, Cody. You're Santa Claus. I'm gonna be the best <laughs> Santa. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, man. Merry Christmas. Oh, wow. Thank you, Garrett. This is. I know things have been a little tense lately. And I guess, you know, when you work with someone you also live with, things can be a little... Oh, is that a... Is this a bath mat? Yeah, I just figured it'd be something you could use based on the puddles by the shower. Well, this is awesome. Yeah, right? Thank you. <laughs> you know, I haven't bought your gift yet. Oh, no, not necessary. But I was thinking, you know, what about what about noise-canceling headphones, you know, so you don't, mm. you don't have to keep banging on the wall every time I make the tiniest peep. Or you could save some money huh? and just quit it with the harmonica lessons on YouTube. That would be a gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it could be, uh -huh. it could be. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway, good talk. Oh, great talk. Incredible talk. Marvelous talk. Awesome talk, I'm out of your shot. You see all the dirt, grime, and gum? Mm. That gets on the bottom of your shoes, and then you put your shoes on my couch. Which is why I lay my shoes on their side so that the soles don't touch the fabric. Oh, you know, I think you're working too hard. Why don't you just take off your shoes? Oh. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, there's a dad here with his kid asking where the store Santa is. Tell him to check the drunk tank. Apparently Santa's Christmas cheer level was at a .08. Maybe Santa has to drink because Mrs. Claus won't get off his back about shoes on the couch. Call me Mrs. Claus one more time. Guys. They drove an hour to get here. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas for me, too. I'm an elf. Should I tell you what I want? Yeah, that's a great place to start. Uh, were you good this year? Yes. And would you like Santa to bring you a real gift or a passive-aggressive one? Uh... Well, that depends. Did you put your water glasses back in the sink or are there are a hundred of them on your nightstand? Come on, guys. That's so funny, because I seem to remember Santa saying, make yourself at home, but I Elves guess... don't talk. Really... Oh, right, of course, because if we do, Santa bangs on the wall for us to shut up. Now say candy canes. Candy, candy cane. Candy cane. You okay? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay, because you look a little bit like a disgruntled Keebler elf about to shoot up the treehouse. It's just... It's like he wants to be mad at me, so he just comes up with these little excuses. You know, like, he'll, he'll take the trash out when it's half full, just so we can be like, there's another thing Jonah didn't do. I only take my trash out when it topples over like a Jenga tower. Right? Thank you. Maybe we should be roommates. Well, I'd have to run your credit check. Oh, yeah? What's your debt-to-income ratio? 
I want to say seven. Is that that is not is that good? Bad? No. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I ran into a lot of trouble with my uh, Eddie Bauer Discover card. College. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Kelly. Check out how many balloons this guy is buying. What are you guys watching? Kelly's Instagram videos. They're adorable. It better be somebody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. But it probably was someone's birthday. I know, right? She nailed it. <laughs> okay. Is the joke that it's so boring? Or? Oh, did you guys see the one with the orange? Uh -huh. Wait. Hey guys, it's your girl Kelly. So I've been trying to open this orange for like five minutes. <laughs> it's pretty much just unpeelable. Here, watch. <laughs> okay, seriously, that is my life. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Kelly. You know how sometimes you get a shopping cart with a bad wheel? Well, this one has a really bad wheel, AKA no wheel. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> wheel fail. Sorry, wait, <laughs> really? I, what am I missing here? This is lame. No, I know. So hey guys, lame. It's your girl Kelly. I'm just having a little breakfast. The most important meal of the day. Although some people refuse to eat it. All your cereals have marshmallows. It's like you're a nine year old. <laughs> marshmallows oh. are fun, Jonah. Hey, um, I might need a ride home later today. Do you happen to know where Kelly lives? Uh, let me see. I think I heard she lives over in Soulard now. Okay, yeah, great. And um, what side of the bed does she sleep on? Why, well, I don't, why would, you know. I know. I, I wasn't like trying to not tell you or anything. We've, we've just been kind of laying low. You know, it's, it hasn't actually been that long. Jonah, it's... relax, it's fine. I think it's great, it's great. Kelly's sweet. She is. And besides, I'm kind of relieved. I couldn't figure out why you like those dumb videos. Dumb? I mean, I don't mean dumb. I just mean like, ah, I can't peel this orange. She's it's not exactly a TED talk. I like her videos. Mm-hmm. You like her something. Whatever. You know what? You're just jealous. Uh, someone's flattering himself. No, I meant jealous that everybody loves her videos. Yeah, I know. That's what you meant. And why would I be jealous of her videos? Oh, she filmed herself microwaving ramen and she got 100 people to view it. Yeah, she's Sofia Coppola. You couldn't do it. Please, you could get 100 people to watch anything. Fine, then do it. 100 views, by the end of the day, loser has to clean the rat traps. Okay, well then you're on and I hope you like dead rats. I hope you like failure. I hope you like me winning bets. Sick burn. Shut up. What is this? Just a woman going insane. Maybe if we took her phone away. Don't even think about it. Yo, 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 it's Cloud9 Amy doing my trick. Zoning this aisle to make it look sick. You want batteries? I got loads of D's and some frozen peas full of vitamin C. Self check yourself before you wreck yourself. Self check yourself before you wreck yourself. Self check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get it? So? Wow, Amy. So fun. It's a work in progress, and, and I know it's corny. That, that's what makes it funny. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So funny. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Is this because Jonah's dating Kelly? Definitely. This is so stupid. All of these videos are stupid. Not everything needs to be documented. Look at where I am. Look at what I ate for lunch today. Nobody cares. We're all becoming these narcissistic attention whores. How about we Okay, at some point she's got to see the rats. One another. Well, you know what? Watch, don't watch. I don't care. But if you like what you saw, you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm at cloud 9 D. I don't think she saw the rats. If there's one thing people say about me, it's that I'm obsessed with serving the community. When we open our hearts to giving, we lift each other up. Hey, Mateo, can I have my charger back? Oh my god, Justine, I am in the middle of something, dummy. I'd... Should I start over? Probably, although that was our best take so far. And again, Mateo, 
we want the judge to see you as a humanitarian, so maybe it doesn't help if you keep calling people dummies and human toilets. Well, I can't control who enters the shot, Amy. Okay, let's just take it from the top. Hi, I'm Mateo Liwanag, American influencer, philanthropist, and I'm truly honored to be serving the community by running a toy drive for a charity that's near and dear to my heart. River City Happy Tots. Tots? I mean, are we even allowed to call them that? I don't think the kids care. Oh, kids! <laughs> I thought you meant tots like little people. You can just edit that out, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't even press record this time. Excuse me, where do you keep your transformers? That toy section right over there. Oh, and uh, while you're over there, maybe consider buying a toy you can donate to our toy drive. Oh, I would, but I already donated to the St. Louis Samaritans guy out front. What? The, the Samaritans are here? Yeah, and I already gave and posted about it. It'd be weird to do another post for this. Couldn't you just donate and not post? So, like, you would post it and then tag me, or...? Or you'd just be helping some underprivileged kids, and they'd post it? Do they have phones? Okay, the toys are back there and to the left. That's why we're not getting any donations. The Samaritans are out there sucking up all the guilty consciences. You know, technically, they need my permission to be here. Yeah, how dare they try to help people without your permission? Exactly. This isn't a charity free-for-all. Although I do like the Samaritans. They do great work. I'm a fan, really. Just kick them out already. Yep, they gotta go. Hi, um, I'm Amy Sosa, store manager. Hi, Kyle Sawyer, um, generosity manager. So I think it's great you're out. Thank you, happy holidays. Could you, uh, could you stop ringing the bell for just a second? I gotta give them the bell, Amy. People give, they want bell. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, so, look, I think it's great you're out here, but you need permission, so I'm gonna have to ask oh, you I to... Have permission. I sent you an email last month. Uh, no, I think I would've remembered that. Oh, yep, here we go. I said I wanted to come down and collect donations today, and you responded, quote, sounds great, exclamation point, end quote. See, a little exclamation point there. Okay, <laughs> but, um, but that isn't exactly permission. I just said, sounds great, as in, sounds great that you want to do charity as an idea. Uh-huh, okay, it's just that that's ridiculous. And I'm already here, so. Okay, look, um, I'm gonna level with you. We're doing a toy drive inside for our friend, and no one's giving because they've already given to you. So, so could you maybe just come back another day? I mean, look, this is your mistake. I shouldn't have to leave because you're a bad manager. Uh, okay. Wow, uh, I, I was trying to be nice, but this is over. You need to leave now. Hey, you hear that, people? Huh? Little Miss Manager here says that I have to stop raising money so people can spend more in her store. Wow. So that's what this store is about, money. No, well, yes, but it's just, it's a bad day for him to be here. Oh, sorry. Well, just let me know when you can pencil in a time for poor people to eat. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's fine, you, you can stay. You know what? I bet they sell everything for more than it costs them and keep the profit. But we didn't start that. That's, that's what all stores do. He called you a bad manager just because you asked him to come back another day? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So why'd you let him stay? Well, I mean, you know, even though he's in the wrong, I mean, obviously just a maniac, it just kind of seemed like bad karma to kick out the Samaritans. It's gonna be fine. We just have to find a way to get customers excited about donating. Maybe we should humanize it. You know, you, you could connect with people. You could tell them your story. Talk to the customers? Gross. Yeah, he's been through enough. Donate to our toy drive and get a free $5 gift card. It's good for anything in the store, especially eyebrow tweezers. Donate to the St. Louis Samaritans. We give people money for food instead of toys they can't eat. Excuse me, um, I just want you to know that if you donate inside, you get a $5 gift card instead of nothing. Hey, the hell, I stole my mark. Foul on the play. Okay. Foul on the play. Okay. Over here, no, people. That's, we can Step just, right up and give. And then don't give anything this, once you're being inside. Very aggressive. Hey, that's a rental. Well, we don't allow street performers out here, so you'll just have to come get it at the end of the day. Molly, hand these out, please. Wow, that guy. I was seriously thinking about punching him for you. Oh, Joe, no, no one believes that. 